everyone, today we're going to learn all about money and to get started let's look at some new vocabulary. All right, so here's some good vocabulary words for us. So let's start with saving. Saving is just talking about money that you're setting aside each month and it could be for different things like an emergency or you're just saving up for a larger purchase that you really have in mind. Then we have spending and spending is just talking about the money that you're paying every month. What are you buying? And there are planned spending. So you might be saving up some money in order to buy that big purchase that you're wanting. You're planning on it. And then there's some unplanned spending where you might be at a store and see something you like and you just buy it right then. You didn't really have a plan for it. Then we have the word credit. So credit goes along with credit cards. I'm sure you've heard that those words before from maybe your parents. So credit is just talking about a card that you are, you can buy things on it, but you don't really have money attached to that account. So you are really just borrowing money it's kind of like a loan from the bank and you're promising that you're going to pay it back to the bank. So you just, you know, slide your card, but then you do have to pay that back later on. And then interest goes along with credit cards. So interest is a small amount extra that you might have to pay the bank in order to have those purchases that you did. So if you're not uh, paying the bank back right away each time, then you might gain a little interest and you owe them a little bit more money. All right, so now we're going to take a little bit of a look at my budget to help you understand all of these new vocabulary words. So let's get started. I put $250 in my Ally Savings account every month. This is an example of, what do you think it's an example of? Look at those choices over there. Okay, you got it. That is an example of my savings. Great job. Okay, I've been saving money to shop at a sale. What is this an example of? Look at those choices. What do you think? You got it. That is planned spending. I know that might have been a little tricky with two different spending options there, but it would be unplanned if I just went to the store. I hadn't been saving beforehand and I just bought something, not really planning on it. But in this case, I was saving for the sale. Okay, let's check out another one. I borrowed $50 from a friend to buy this guitar, but I have to pay my friend back $55 in return. What is that extra $5 all about? What do you think? Look at those choices. Okay, you got it. That's interest. That's that smaller amount that you have to pay back to either a bank that loans you money or a friend that loans you money, that kind of thing. Okay, great job. All right, so now I thought it'd be really awesome to take a look at my budget to help you understand about expenses and saving and all these things around money. So let's dig in. I earn 3,250 per month and I have my planned expenses that I write down because I know that I'm always gonna be having these expenses every month, they're planned. And so it's good to write them down to kind of see, you know, what room you have in your budget for other things. So let's take a look. My rent is 1,300 per month. My utilities are 200. And that's talking about electricity, gas, water, things like that. My food is 1,000 per month. Car is 200 and that's car expenses is 200. Clothing is also 200. And my savings is that 250 that I mentioned before. So now here's my question. So my daughters were really wanting to go to an arcade and they wanted a budget of 
$50 to spend on the bowling and all the games that it had. And they wanted to know if that was in my budget and if there could be an entertainment category. So I want you to pause the video and see if there's any room in my budget and how just how much do I have that I could make an entertainment category for. All right, so let's check your work. Let's see if I have any room in my budget for entertainment. So I'm gonna start by adding these up and you probably did the same thing. Since there's a lot of zeros, you know, sometimes I just add up two at a time, but with all of these zeros, I kind of feel like this budget is super easy and friendly to work with. So I think I'm just gonna add it up as is. Okay, zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero is, you got it, zero. Then this row or column has just a five. So that was easy too. This one has a three and then a two. So what's three plus two? Good, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Got to regroup that. And now in the thousands place, I've got one, two, three. That was pretty easy. So it looks like, I'm gonna write that over on the side. My budget has $3,150 of planned expenses. And so then, how did you find out how much I have in my budget that's extra? Okay, great. You thought of taking my uh, what I earn and subtracting what I spend. And that looks like I just have $100, but that's great because my daughters were wanting to spend 50. And so I definitely have enough in my budget and I can make that new category. We can have an entertainment category that is, you got it, $100. Great job. Great work today, everyone. I hope this video helps you in your math class or at home. Bye.